Hi everyone, this is Ian Camus from Bliss Climbing and today I want to tell you and show you some new tests I have done with the Eddy. So in that test you will see I put the Eddy like with this side in front. So not the opening but rather the closed side. So I clip it like this. According to the people that are using this eddy for lead rope solo climbing a lot this is not the good way to clip it and my early testing seems to conclude that that's the case it's not good the high clip problem is more important in that orientation and I would say that it is probably more important if I put it sideways like this or sideways like this. The direction where I think it catches the most is when oriented like this, but I managed to do a high clip that I didn't film uh, like this that let the rope slip to the backup nut. So it was a high clip with the device like this and then I let myself fall and it did not catch. So now let's see the tests. So this is a kind of top rope situation. Now what I want to do is have it go down like this. Okay, now it's completely down and I'll put a backup knot. I hope I don't hit the ground with that. Should be okay. So, I'll just do it like this. And I lift myself like this so the loop is good. And I jump. I'm scared. This one locked. This is super good. That's nice because if I had to slide all the way to the backup nut, it would have been awful. Yeah, I could touch the ground with that backup nut, so I'd better have the backup nut a little bit tighter. Now, I'll put myself like this. So, I need to be that high. Locked again. That's nice. Okay. Now, I want it to fail. So, I will be, I will go in between. Let's try that. So, I will try to have the carabiner going down like this completely but uh, not the complete loop, not like this, okay, just like this, try that, yes, it locked, again like this, carabiner down, No, it did not catch. And I touched the ground with my butt, barely. But I survived. That's why this device is so scary. So, I had the device like this when I fell, and I'll just measure the distance I fell. If it was like this, to like this, that's one foot, but if I pull more, it goes to 14 inches. Let's say that's one foot and it was not enough to catch. I survived. I don't find I'm still uh, happy with those tests and I will do more testing in the future. I should receive a glider rope, 9.9 .9 millimeter rope that is supposed to be 
the, the right rope for the purpose and the system. If you still want to use the eddy uh, as safely as possible, uh, you can check out the modification that I have done. It's very similar to the James modification on the Rope Solo Climbing Facebook group, but it's uh, better. It's more convenient. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, please subscribe. Please comment below if you have comments or questions and go see my webpage blissclimbing.com and you should find the online courses over there uh, if that's what you're looking for. Thank you.